Dear students, welcome to PMDC online lecture room. Today, we will discuss the topic gram atom and mole. This topic is present in chapter number one, name, stoichiometry of grade 11 chemistry book. So first, we will talk about gram atom, which is defined as the relative atomic mass of an element expressed in gram is called gram atom. For example, one gram atom of sodium is equal to 23 gram which is similar to the atomic mass of sodium while 1 gram of calcium is equal to 40 gram. Now, we should know why the concept of gram atom is used in chemistry. For this purpose, we are going to discuss the importance of gram atom in chemistry. The concept of gram atom is very useful in chemistry because it is impossible to see a single atom in a lab or classroom or weighs a single atom or even impossible to see or weighs large number of atoms. But when we measure gram atom of a substance then we can weigh as well as can see them very easily. For example, one gram atom of iron is equal to 56 gram. This amount can be seen as well as can be weighed. Now the second part of our today's lecture is mole. The word mole is derived from Latin language which means heap or pile. It is defined as atomic weight, ionic weight, molecular weight or formula weight expressed in gram is called mole. It is denoted as MOL. Look at this slide. On which few examples of mole are shown. Number 1, 24 gram of magnesium metal is equal to 1 mole of magnesium. 27 gram of aluminium ions are equal to 1 mole of aluminium ions. 18 gram of liquid water or solid water also called ice is equal to 1 mole of water. 58.5 gram of table salt or sodium chloride is equal to 1 mole of NaCl. Now, we are going to discuss the role of mole in chemistry. Mole in chemistry is used as a SI unit for measuring quantity of a matter as well as a counting 
unit. For example, if we weigh 63.5 gram of copper in a laboratory, then it will be equal to 1 mole which shows the mass or quantity of copper. Similarly, 1 mole or 63.5 gram of copper also contains 6.022 10 raised to power 23 atoms of copper that shows a number. Therefore, we say that mole shows both number and quantity of a matter. Now we are going to learn how to calculate moles. The following formulas can be used to determine the number of moles. Number one, number of moles equal to mass of a substance in gram divided by molar mass. Number two, number of moles equal to volume in decimeter cube or liter divided by molar volume. Number three, number of moles equal to number of particles divided by Avogadro's number. On the basis of these formulas, we are going to calculate the number of moles. First example is calculate the number of moles in 75 gram of table salt. The data of this problem is the formula that will be used to find the number of moles is after putting the values into this formula and solving the problem we will get answer 2.28 moles of NaCl. The second example is a balloon is filled with 0.078 meter cube of hydrogen gas. Calculate the number of moles at STP. The data of this problem is since the volume is given in meter cube, therefore, first we have to change it into decimeter cube. The following formula will be used to solve this problem. After putting the value into this formula and solving the problem, we will get the answer 3.48 moles. The third example is a student of chemistry in the laboratory prepared 2.69 10 raised to power 24 molecules of sulfur dioxide at STP. Find the number of moles of sulfur dioxide in the lab. Data of this problem is the formula used for solving this numerical is after solving the problem we will get the answer 4.46 moles. Now dear students 
after learning gram atom and mole you can easily solve this given assignment thank you very much and take care